In the summer of 1990, decisions were being made at Compaq that would result in a whole new kind of personal computer. Well, what kind of processors can we support? We'll think probably a 3 to 6 DX and uh, Intel's new 46 SX and then a full 46. And the 46 SX is great for Windows users. Called the Compaq Desk Pro M family of personal computers, they would be designed from the ground up to answer the needs of a new generation of PC users. And we could maybe have uh, ESA in there with a 32 bit bus. That's if that makes sense. I'll probably even want one if you're going to have a PC that's going to last four or five years in the future. During weeks of intensive meetings, a consensus would be reached to develop the company's first modular PC platform. The design would be based on intelligent modularity, which called for dividing the PCs into easily upgradable components and building in the capability to fully support future components and processors. We wanted more than just the processor card to be upgradable. We actually wanted the video, the memory to be upgradable, and at some point even the I.O. card. So we looked at these factors when we designed what we consider a modular design as opposed to merely an upgradable PC. We put a 32-bit bus in it, used ESA, so that when they got into the high end, they had the performance and the I.O. bandwidth that they needed. And we put a power supply in it that could support just about anything they wanted to throw in. And that is another one of the differentiators between us and the competition. Not all of them are thinking that far down the line. Now let's take a look at the microprocessor. Program. The design process began with the analysis of huge volumes of market research to determine exactly what companies were looking for in their PCs. The growth will definitely have users changing up their machine to get a more powerful processor, memory subsystem, and hard disk so that they can use the Windows applications that are coming out. On this next slide, we're going Compaq to engineers would use this market research as a blueprint for features the Desk Pro M family would offer. We support uh, 8 meg SIM modules in this uh, memory expansion slot. We could also support up to 64 meg. I think that'd be a pretty good uh, amount of memory. It's real important. Just the engineers would define exact specifications for every component of the new PCs, keeping maximum control over the process by designing the ASICs and other computer chips themselves. This painstaking approach would keep manufacturing costs down while ensuring an exact fit with the requirements of the modular PCs. The fact that we do them ourselves, we can uh, optimize the components to improve a particular facet of the machine. You can control the design much better than you can with off-the-shelf components. Uh, by using ASICs, we can uh, achieve uh, volumes and cost efficiencies that you can't get if you were to, uh, to have a design that's based on uh, programmable logic devices, for example. One ASIC would do the work of uh, 10 to 15 expensive, uh, uh, what are known as PALs or programmable logic devices. Since new processors and clock speeds would be added over time, every model in the Desk Pro M family would have to be optimized for any clock speed likely to be used. We don't make the 33 megahertz product faster and then sacrifice performance at 16 megahertz. We're designed to be optimized at 16, 25, and 33 megahertz. All four products are optimized for their clock speed. So we do not make any of the products suffer uh, to the benefit of the other products. Another thing I hope we can do with this product is uh, make the cable situation very clean so it's very easy for our customers to add options. And By simplifying cabling and going to modular CPU, video, and I.O. boards, that could be easily switched out. The engineers would make upgrades astonishingly fast and easy. Not only was, was the upgradability a major factor, but the ease of the upgradability. Uh, if a company has several thousand PCs and they're going to upgrade all their units, uh, it's gonna, if it takes an hour uh, to upgrade each one, that's a considerable length of time and a considerable amount of money for each person to have to upgrade their system. Because the Desk Pro M family was intended as a single platform for entire companies, it would also have to be affordable enough for use at every level of the corporate environment. The Desk Pro M team would come up with new ways of thinking about building a PC in order to fulfill this requirement. I wanted to make sure that, that these products were uh, as economical as they could possibly be, yet still giving the, the, the features and, and full benefit to, to customers. Instead of the traditional large system board, we split the circuitry up into several small boards which could be produced in higher volumes at less cost than the uh, traditional large system board that we've done in some of our past systems. Since this would be an entirely new PC design, 
The team would evaluate every aspect of its performance. For example, heat dissipation and ergonomic concerns such as fan noise. We were able to work very closely with the engineering group on this unit and they had a lot of really stringent requirements and industrial design was able to get in early enough that those elements that needed to be there were cleaned up aesthetically as well as functionally. How the air would come up from below instead of coming in from, from the, the front. front. Yeah, I think this is working really well from the front. On this product we had a side. big challenge in the area of providing airflow. This is a very tightly compact box and it generates a lot of heat and we had to provide enough airflow to keep the system cool and efficient. In providing both louvers front and rear on the unit we were able to get a very efficient airflow which allowed us to use only one fan to cool the entire unit. The one fan in turn lowers the overall noise level considerably. To ensure many years of reliable operation and even the most demanding conditions Compaq engineers put the Desk Pro M prototypes through an unprecedented battery of tests. We don't even consider the specs of the system when we run our tests. What we're looking for is the actual mechanical limits that we can take the system to. In the reliability labs, Desk Pro M prototypes were punished in test after test. Among them, drop tests and vibration tests to ensure the PCs would withstand the rigors of many years of use in the real world. Electrostatic discharge tests to protect the PCs from static electricity. Acoustic testing to achieve the lowest possible fan noise levels. And thermal analysis to discover any heat buildup around components. Sophisticated tests were developed to study even the most subtle product characteristics, like internal airflow and the ability to survive being turned on and off tens of thousands of times. Everything we do, we just take as far as we can. That would mean a more reliable product to the end user because they don't have to worry about the system dying after five years. In keeping with compact tradition, the Desk Pro M family would be compatible with the broadest range of third-party products, including those yet to be introduced. We virtually defined compatibility in our early days, and we have continued to test our products extremely hard before announcement. So these tests are really the product of about nine years worth of compatibility testing. And all of the relationships that we have with the third party developers, I think that makes the products more solid than anything else in the market. The user doesn't have to worry about, well gee, I wonder if they tested this product. Whenever a customer gets a uh, software application or a hardware uh, device, he wants it to work correctly. Uh, and we make sure that that happens. We won't produce a product unless it's signed off on. The joint integration agreements that Compaq has with Banyan, Novell, SCO, and Microsoft are really exciting for users in connected, networked environments because they allow users to get answers to their problems on networks immediately. We'll work with those partners if someone has a Microsoft Landman installation with Compaq PCs. We'll be sure that we get a solution to whatever problem they have working in partnership with that software company. A final area of concern was that buyers have full confidence in Compaq's guarantee of total after-sale support for the new Desk Pro M family products. So the company would complement its network of authorized dealers with a direct line to Compaq. Compaq recently invested a great deal of money in getting an end-user 1-800 number installed. We've got a large group of people who do nothing but answer end-user questions about our products, as well as we have a dealer locator 1-800 number that allows people to get their nearest Compaq dealer so they can find our product and purchase what they require. The Compaq Desk Pro M family of PCs embody everything Compaq has come to stand for. Innovation, reliability, compatibility, and uncompromising quality. At the same time, they represent something totally new for customers. Allows them to standardize an entire office or company on one platform. And that gives them the ability to stock very few spares and the ability, if they're a self-maintainer, to have one service group know how to service all the products without having to learn a lot of different things and stock a lot of maintenance manuals. So we've got a standardized platform they can feel comfortable with. We'll meet the needs from 38625 advanced productivity users through even their server needs and the work group applications that they want to be running. 
I think we look at it as a lot of little details that, that other companies just don't consider important. We here at Compaq really value the CMOS, which is a chip inside the, the uh, product, allows you to keep your serial number in there. It makes it easier for MIS people to track their assets. We have security features, a, a laundry list of security features that allows users to protect their data. Uh, we have the best constructed uh, chassis available. These are the little things that a user might not look at the product and go, hey, there's a great machine. But when you look at the sum of everything we did on this project, the modularity and some of the other factors, you're really looking at an excellent corporate standard for today as well into the future. The compact Despro M family of PCs, ready now and for years to come.